we're not going, if we want to go over to from this side to this side, we're patting, like literally that's what your movement should be, like that. That's how quick it should be. So I don't want to go here and then there and then there, if that makes sense. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel which is all about educational beauty. Today's video is about how to apply foundation. Every single step, I'm not leaving out anything. I'm showing you every single step of how to apply foundation. It's great for beginners, but it's also great for pros because I'm gonna show you how to apply it seamlessly so you get a flawless finish. Now let's jump into the video, but before we do, if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram too, so make sure you do come say hi over there too. Now let's head straight into the video. So as always, I have nothing on my face. I'm gonna start with my moisturizer and my skin has been feeling a little bit kind of dull, tired, stressed, and a tiny bit kind of like tight recently and it might be due to the retinol i'm not sure because i took like about two weeks off retinol just because i was going for a facial to try out this new clinic and i think because i've started again back on it which i'm never gonna leave retinol because i absolutely love it but because i kind of have got back on it all of a sudden my skin's feeling a little bit tight so it's kind of like getting back into that whole process so i'm going to be using this it's a new product and it's actually really good i knew it was going to be good because i've used most of the other range this is actually by wind and you know that i love the wind range but the reason i'm saying actually is because i thought that it was going to be kind of a little bit similar to the other moisturizer medina dew which is like a really nice kind of water not watery but very light moisturizer this is marrakesh rich and this is like it, it's just like a really good moisturizer it just basically does it all and i feel like if you really want that hydration and you want that feeling of hydration if you really want to feel like okay my skin's just like kind of had eight glasses of water then this is perfect so i feel like when i put this on number one it smells absolutely amazing but i do feel like it is a rich moisturizer but it's not like rich as in overly rich i've got a plaster on that's why i'm keeping my finger away because i cut myself yesterday and it's actually pretty bad <laughs> this is something i've used quite a few times now and i feel like it, it leaves this really nice kind of just freshly moisturized, moisturized kind of like feeling. And what I love is it's really kind of, it's like this whipped cream and it's got fatty acids in there. It's like, it smooths your skin. It really kind of evens out your skin. And what I really, really do love about this is it does give you that really nice kind of plump feeling to your skin. See, when I, the difference I would say between this and Medina Dew is when I put Medina Dew on, it just kind of like sinks into my skin and it's just the right amount if my skin is feeling kind of normal but on the days what i'm going to be doing is probably using this on the days that i know that my skin is a little bit extra tight or i feel like i need that extra hydration because maybe i haven't got enough sleep or i just really want that just extra hydration underneath my makeup so yeah that's something i wanted to talk to you about because it is absolutely amazing and it smells so good i think it's like amber smells really good and a lot of you guys actually went out and bought some of the wind stuff so if you are looking for a moisturizer which just kind of like gives you that really kind of like nourished feeling then you guys are gonna love this plus it's cruelty free and vegan so that's a plus point okay so moving forward we are going to move on to my eye cream i'm going to use this is a new product i'm trying we're going to see what this is like this is the drunk elephant sea tango multivitamin eye cream i'm just going to be like checking this out and seeing what this is like so oh, it's a nice feeling like i can feel it's like kind of tingling quite a nice feeling okay i'm going to apply my shiseido synchro skin soft blurring primer and i'm not applying it everywhere i'm just literally applying it in the bits that the areas that i feel that i need it so just on the cheeks and a little bit on the chin i feel like with this moisturizer if you feel that your skin gets dry throughout the day this moisturizer is really really good for that because even now i can still feel that hydration and even underneath your makeup you'll still feel it, it won't feel like everything's tight so anyway that's just a little quick note for you so i wanted to show you my kind of skincare because i just want to show you right from the beginning you know rather than just skip and get to the foundation part i just want to show you right from the beginning so you know exactly how i prep my skin some of you sometimes mention that you know why have you not put spf on 
I do put SPF on most of the time, but sometimes when I'm just filming from home and I know I'm not leaving the studio, I don't put SPF on. So yeah. Now, even though I'm gonna be showing you how to apply foundation step by step. Now, let me just explain what I mean by step by step, because I feel like a lot of you have mentioned to me in previous comments that, you know, when you see me applying my foundation, I am thoroughly explaining it, but you wanna see how I buff it into my hand before I buff it into my skin, because you know that I always buff it into my hand first. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you. I'm gonna be showing you every part from taking the foundation, pumping it out, like doing, that didn't even make sense. Pumping it out, you know, like putting it on my hand <laughs> to, you know, getting it onto the sponge, you know, everything, showing you how my sponge looks. So I'm gonna be showing you all of that. Now I'm gonna be applying my concealer, just using my Tarte Shape Tape. And also to answer your question, some of you might not underpaint the way that I do. Some like some, a lot of you, and I know a lot of you have kind of like converted to underpainting, which is amazing. But some of you haven't and that's okay. That may be because you prefer the other way, like putting your concealer, etc., on top of foundation. You carry on doing it that way if that's what suits you. What I'm doing is just applying all of my concealer beforehand and then I'm gonna be applying my foundation. Either way, whether you apply your concealer under or over foundation the application of your foundation is still going to be the same so this video does still apply to everyone so hopefully that will answer your question i've got a little bit of my banana banana powder from ben i and i'm just kind of setting this i'm going to apply my concealer everywhere else so let me just go ahead and apply my concealer to everywhere on my face and then we'll get to the foundation application I just wanna say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. To tell you a little bit more about Skillshare, Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can actually learn and explore and discover new subjects or maybe just level up on your existing current skill set and it's great for freelancers and entrepreneurs like myself so i actually love the site because once you join it's ad free so you don't actually get anything interrupting you when you're really in that kind of zone of learning that's something i absolutely love and also there's just so much on there you can keep going and you you kind of discover new subjects that maybe you didn't even know you were interested in and then all of a sudden you're like maybe i'll give this a go so I think you're gonna love it. I personally have watched MKBHD's video and he has a video called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot and Edit. And it's really helped me with kind of like planning my YouTube content and organizing my content, kind of like giving me advice on editing tools. I've actually watched it quite a few times because each time I feel like I'm absorbing something new. So I think you guys are gonna love it. Now I have something special for you guys because the first 1000 people to click on my link or to use my code in my description below are gonna get one free month. And I think you guys are gonna be so obsessed with this site. So I just wanted to share it with you because it's something that I love and I think you guys are gonna love it too. Okay, so as you can see, everything is done. My contour is on, I've buffed it all in and now we're gonna move on to foundation. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my foundation and I'm putting it on my hand. So I've got a pump of it there. And now what I'm doing is just spreading it over the back of my hand. So you can see that it's all over the back of my hand there. Now that that's done, I'm gonna get my beauty blender. This is my beauty blender. It's the actual beauty blender in case you're wondering. So it's not, you know, any other brand. It is the actual beauty blender. Now this is damp. So a lot of you ask me in videos, like on comments saying, is it wet, damp, dry? It's always damp. So maybe I should stop mentioning that every time I'm using it, it's damp. And when I say damp, that means you've got to wet it under the water. So this was already done. And I've already got a bespoke, like a dedicated video on this showing you. You've got to run it under the water so it doubles in size and then you squeeze it out, but that isn't going to be enough. So you then need to put a tissue around it, put a tissue around it, squeeze it again and then you'll see that all the the tissue will absorb all of the excess water then your beauty blender is ready to use now what i'm gonna do so i've got it here i'm gonna buff it into the sponge so i'm buffing the product into my sponge i've done that a few times i'm doing it a bit excessively right now just so that you guys can see but that isn't usually how long i take I do it a few times. Now it's on my sponge and I'm ready to buff it into my face. So now I'm gonna start from the forehead and I'm gonna buff it the same way I'm patting it. But when I say buffing, I'm basically patting it in. Can you see when I'm doing it, I'm not going here and then here and then here and then there and then there. I'm kind of being quite uniform and fluid with it. So 
If I want to move to, to this side, I'm going to pat my way to this side. Do you see what I mean? And if I want to move it over there, I'm going to pat my way to this side. Because that way, you know that you're getting a really nice kind of even finish. And look how that's nicely kind of covered. We can still see that darkness around the perimeter of the face coming through. And yeah, so same thing. I'm going to now buff a little bit more in. And now, hold on, make sure I've got enough. I'm going to go on the under eye. Same thing, patting all the way across to this side, making sure it's connected to the forehead. Go back over this side of the nose. Pat, pat, pat my way. You can see I'm never moving the sponge off to go somewhere else. I'm always kind of like keeping it quite, you know, fluid. So it's always patting its way along to a different area of the face. Okay, pat some more into this sponge. Pat my way up here. Go back onto the nose. I don't know why I still got my hand up there. But yeah, connect it to, the, to this temple area here, just so there's no, you know, blood stops. Okay, pat some more in. Now, take my way up here. Get a little bit more. Just gonna make sure there's no kind of line there and that I have gone down the jawline properly out over this bit here see how we're just always buffing and patting okay so that is how you apply foundation so as you could see like I said before I know I, I keep repeating certain things but sometimes that's my way of like really drumming it in that you've got to make sure that you keep patting Whenever the sponge is on the face, it's got to keep patting, right? So you've got to keep patting it. And we're not going, if we want to go over to, from this side to this side, we're patting, like, literally, that's what your movement should be, like that. That's how quick it should be. So I don't want to go here, and then there, and then there, if that makes sense. And this is me showing you my technique, so this isn't saying that any other way is wrong. This is just how I do it, so I get a flawless base, and it, I know it's worked for me, and people love it when I've done their base this way. You won't get a uneven finish, you won't get like a splodgy finish, you you won't have any kind of sponge marks anywhere, you won't have too much foundation in one area, everything is very uniform even and it looks flawless and seamless. So now that we've done that we're just going to set this and I'm just going to go ahead and set my face so that you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so my foundation is on and this is the finished result. I obviously haven't done any kind of like bronzer or anything like that because I really wanted to just show you foundation on its own. And obviously if you wanted to put your contour on top, your concealer on top, that's up to you if that's the way you do it. But the foundation application, the technique that I showed you would stay the same. And even if you don't wear concealer, that's the same technique that you can use for full coverage foundation, light, medium, whatever. So I really hope that that's kind of like really kind of broken it down and showing you how you can get that really nice seamless kind of finish to your foundation. Because although it may seem, I did initially think, is this too much of a basic video? but then I thought it might seem basic to me and maybe other people who are pros at makeup or you know existing makeup artists but what about the people who aren't you know and I know there's so many of you and you message me sometimes asking about you know question like things you know that you are very basic but it is still you know really important that I cater to you guys and I cater kind of like bite-sized videos that are really easy to do and just answer your question so I really hope that this has helped you in some way I think if you can master this kind of technique and I mean every part of it not just overall you know and I think that's something that's a habit I have and I think I've learned it from training so many people in the past like face to face I used to train large groups of 
aspiring makeup artists and what I learned from that was that you know sometimes I'd have like tw I'd have like 20 in a, in a class and it would be like a five day course so there'll be like you know five full days and I, I don't like do I can't do that now I just don't have the time and there are so many other things I'm doing in my business that taught me that you know there are so many people everyone has a different pace at learning it taught me that you know what you really need to just break it down and make it like super super kind of like broken down into small chunks that's how I like to kind of teach on my YouTube channel because I feel like then you guys are gonna just kind of like know how to do it properly you know like so it just makes it easier for you guys to understand and I feel like it will feel to you like it's a little bit more accessible sometimes I feel like when you watch YouTube videos and you're watching certain techniques and it may be the case even with some of my videos you might watch and you're like okay that looked way easier you know you make it look so easy and I really want you guys to feel that it is easy you know if you can master every single part every single step of this technique that I've shown you get the first section bang on get the second section bang on get the third section like perfect if you can perfect that first step you're more likely to be able to get the second step perfect you're then more likely to get the third step more perfect and if you keep doing that and you keep practicing you're going to get perfect application seamless application you know you always hear these terms and you're like seamless foundation flawless foundation wow it just looks so even it's like how do i even get that like i want you guys to feel like it's accessible i want you guys to feel like you know what i can do that it's it's doable i can do it if she can do it i can do it all it takes is a bit of patience a bit of attention and precision and that's it i really do hope you've enjoyed this and i hope that when you apply your foundation if it's not perfect the first time that's fine it's okay but it will get it will get there you know and when i say perfect i don't mean to say that you know you have to get it perfect but that's just my way of saying something that looks great you know it you'll get it seamless you'll get it flawless so you know you will get there and I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have any questions please do let me know in the comments box below. As always if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next time take care and I'll see you soon.